what is going on guys i'm zarin of gaming here and today we are here in dreamscaper so found this game on steam and it looked interesting from what i understand of it who i i um from what i understand about it you go in your dreams and fight stuff that's all i really know Okay, that's an invisible wall. I don't... Can I sprint? Why am I like shimmy walking in the water? Oh. Wait, is there more to see here? I don't think so. Do I go here? Inspect. Is this a grave? Am I missing an arm? Oh! Oh. Hi? Oh. I'm dreaming. Silly me. Oh, this is cool. Leave. Ten years later. Why ten years later? Leaving back hill. Come back soon. <laughs> Come back soon to back hill. Okay. Afterburner Studios presents. Okay. Dreamscaper. Okay. That's pretty cool. When do I get to fight stuff? Hmm. I'm older now. Would you like to play the tutorial? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> the tutorial is on a game and that's cool yeah okay i'll move gotcha fast travel okay oh do i move to this thing interact pick up If you time your combos with a white flash, you perform a perfect attack, which deals bonus damage. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Alternate attack guard. Guard break, okay. Interesting. Can hold both ranged and melee weapon. Pick up. Lucid. Lucid recovers quickly out of combat, but usually very slowly during combat. Hmm. Which. Mm. The heck? Oh, am I just falling asleep on the couch? Oh. What the heck? That's so weird. Oh, okay. Trigger a lucid attack by LB or RB. Interesting. So I have some tornado style thing. Let's go here. Oh. 
health potion, small. Want to recycle, so I can't take it with me then, I guess. So... One bomb. Interesting. Inspiration. There is another place I can go. What the heck? Not so secret anymore. Reveal. What is this? Bullseye. Increased damage of all perfect attacks. Oh, cool. So that takes me to that, and this takes me to a new area. Lucid Awakening Army. I don't know if I should have used that yet. The exact same place. Unarmed. This uses more DPS. Oh, so punching does more damage. Interesting. What's this? Oh, that's sick as hell. Beer. Beer? It's a deeper message. Brad, I need something I can heal. Okay, I can do this. Well, that's unfair! What happened? Oh, the departure. Dang. Auto-recycled loot, zero sand. Hmm. Bosses skipped. Zero. Damage dealt 1,000. Damage taken 1,000. Waking world. Welcome to the waking world. As Cassidy delves deeper into the dreamscape, she will wake up and find herself ready to discover new locations, activities, and people in the city of Red Haven. Unlike the dream world, the progress made in the walk waking world persists. When Cassidy returns to the dreamscape, she will be better equipped to dispatch her nightmares with new unlocks and upgrades. Oh, so it's like she has nightmares and stuff. Dang. Hmm, I think she's like anxious or something. Poor girl. Uh, I'm only seeing the option to sleep. Do I have to beat a boss first? Dreamscaper is a procedurally generated action roguelike with permadeath. With each restart, you will be experienced different sets of items and dreamscapes to explore.
I have a sword now. <laughs> I don't want to lose that. So are the only things that are the same the bosses? Are they the same? I take it this is like, um... That is cool. I take it this is kind of like, um... What is it? Hades? S except maybe without getting to choose? Hmm. Right back at ya. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. There we go, we got it. Fear is no longer an issue, unless there's a second phase. If there is, well, then it's an issue. Sick. Health potion. Water bed increases health. Descent. Descent. What? What happened? Is it fear of change? Must be your family. Must be your family. No. What happened? Auto recycled loot. One hundred and forty-eight cent. New dream unlocked. The renewal. Okay. So am I... Oh no, I don't want to... I was hoping to explore more of the... <sighs> While Dreamscape are permanent death... All progress you make in the waking world will persist. This means... Yes, I want to abandon it because I want to see... Recipe. Handmade coaster. Craft. Oh, excellent! Different characters have different interests and gift preferences. I wonder who would love this handmade coaster. Aw, how do we leave? There we go. Whoa! 
Silk Lounge, Daydream. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to different areas. Cool, okay. Chit chat. Eve tries to convince Cassidy that skydiving isn't all that scary. Interest review. Skydiving. Okay, so I get to know people. Can I not talk to this guy yet? Do I not have enough things? Okay. Okay, so this is interesting. I guess we're helping this girl just make new friends around town and like meet new people, which is understandable like how some people can have anxiety about that sort of thing. I know a ton of friends with um, like social anxiety and all that, but this is pretty cool. She's slowly gaining confidence and getting through personal stuff she has. So I don't know, this is a really cool game actually. I like it a lot. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end this here. I hope you all enjoyed this game as well. And if you want to see more of it, please let me know down in the comments below. And thank you all so much for watching. As always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.